All right, let's try this charger. Will it charge? I think we have a winner. Oh, Jumping into the truck. So, where are we? 26 kilowatts, let's change that for a minute. This is looking like we're good. Exciting. Time to tear this thing down. All right, it's up to 56%. Didn't get a big speed, but I think we've proven our point. Job done, it charges. Okay, so we're in the process of um, going through the manual and the battery disassembly process. Um, various shields and bits and bobs on the front and now starting to drain the coolant out of the system. Uh, the car's already uh, completely isolated, 12 volt and high voltage all shut down. Okay, so I think I'm ready to drop the battery. So all the coolant's out, all the high voltage. I've got these benches underneath and all the perimeter bolts. So, let's see if I can. Ooh. That'll be a no then. Let's go check what's in there. Take two. Go again. Something. Oh crap, I missed the bolt. That one. Okay, that first time, there are some bolts that go through these cradle bits. I'd undone them, but not removed them, and the threads are just caught. But you can see inside, everything's stripped out. There are a few bolts that go from the top down into the battery. Supposedly there were some, another four under the seats, but they weren't there. Tesla cost cutting and weight saving, I suppose. Right. Let's see if we get lucky this time. So we have lift off. Just that, it's that coolant pipe catching. Uh, where does that go? Down there. Oop. 
it's not that one. This one. Right, so I'll undo that connection there, I think. Okay, so that's that one disconnected. And for reference, that's what this battery pack is. I've read that that part number is the one with the short modules, but I haven't seen one with as later suffix as P on the end. So I can't imagine that I've changed things between then and then switching over to the LFP packs. But there you go. But yeah, nice clean underside. All right, let's do some shuffling and get this out of the way. So the main jobs are going to be obviously shortening the pack. So hopefully this area is full of air with the shorter modules. And then moving this penthouse, which houses all the charging and power control stuff. So hopefully that will go up behind where the back seat is now. And I'll just have some short links from um, the end of each module. So you've Basically, you've just got a, a, a ground and power at each end of the modules. So you've got two on one side, connected in series, uh, the pyro fuse, and then the other two modules connected in series. But I'll probably remote mount everything that's in here, because, like I said before, I need to get my uh, seat probably mounted as low as possible around here. The terminals are over towards the back. So I'll make a, a little cover, but obviously it'll be a lot lower um, and further back. So that should be okay. So yeah, now I've just got to find all the fixings and then break um, the sealant from the top and bottom. So the bottom's steel for um, just protection, but the, the top is all aluminium. So and various fixings and then what people do have issues with are these connectors obviously you've got to take those connectors out before you can take the lid off because all the penthouse comes off with with the top lid um yeah and that's a bit fiddly and the last thing you want to be doing is breaking these high voltage bits because tesla aren't going to tell me those so far so good and i've managed to collect most of the coolant i'll probably save and reuse that um but yeah who knows how many times this is going to go up and down hopefully not too many but there we go the instructions in the the tesla uh, manual are actually really good so follow them step by step i think there are 120 odd steps um there are a couple of minor errors, but nothing, nothing massive really. So yeah, there we go.